Hi loves, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? My name is Lisa. Definitely make sure you subscribe. For today, I'm going to show you my everyday makeup routine. I had quite a good routine going for myself, but I just felt like it wasn't really working anymore. So the past, like I'd say two months, I've been changing up my skincare routine, changing up my makeup routine, and I feel like I have a good routine down now. So I wanna share with you, because a lot of you have asked me, because I always like do my makeup in my vlogs, and I never really talk about the products or anything. So I'm gonna do that in this video. I'm gonna mention the products that I'm using, but if I forget to say anything, just know it's always in the description with a link for you to purchase if you want to. Most of them will probably be affiliate links, just so you know, I'm gonna make like a small percentage off of that, um, but you don't necessarily have to purchase through a link if you don't want to. But yeah, um, let's just go ahead and get started this might become a long video i don't know i'm just gonna try to talk through everything so first i'm gonna prime my skin and primer has definitely been something that changed up my whole routine for me especially this one so this is the becca what's it called ever matte poreless priming perfector this stuff is so good you don't need a lot and it works so great and then I'll also use the Too Faced Hangover RX. This has been my favorite for a while. I like using this kind of like on the outside of my face and then this in my T-zone. It's been great. Also, I'm wearing this on my lips right now. And it's really nice because it gives a bit of like a rosy tint to your lips, which is nice. Um, and then I go in with the Becca Primer. So the reason why I like this one so much is because it really controls my oils like really, really well. I only use a little bit and I only really use it on my nose and then in between my brows and a little bit over here just to, I guess, lock in the oils because that's only where I get like really oily. Like the rest of my face, it doesn't really get oily. It's, I'd say it's like normal, but my T-zone can get really oily. So then I go in with my foundation. I've been loving using this Morphe brush. It's the E63. They gift this to me when they sent me one of their foundations and I really like it. I I was into beauty blenders for my foundation for a while, but for some reason just a brush just looks so much better. I only really use a beauty sponge for powder. So I don't really use a, a sponge for like liquid makeup anymore. I've been using this foundation again, which this used to be my holy grail couple years ago but i got a new one because i was running out and it was kind of old um i'm not sure if these colors are good also my fake tan is like almost all the way gone so i'm a bit lighter so my foundation might end up being a bit dark so ignore that but i've got these two colors and i think i'm gonna go with this one even though i think this one's supposed to be darker it looks lighter in the bottle I'm just gonna try it out and see oh it's like a completely this is like it's completely different but I'm guessing the formula, oh my god, why did it do that? I'm guessing the formula is still the same. I think this would be an okay, oh my god. <laughs> I think this would be an okay, why is it just like squirting everywhere? Oh my god, I'm making a mess. It's, it's quite a runny foundation, but I really like that because it just looks very light and it feels light on the skin. Oh, this is actually so much lighter. Like this is, this is supposed to be the same color as this one, but it looks a lot lighter. Oh, that is so light. Ooh. Okay, well maybe I can make this work since my tan has come off. As you can see, this blends out so nice. Well, it's very light. The coverage is really good though. I'm pretty sure this formula is still the same as the one I've been using, but it is a lot lighter. But it's like super full coverage. Ugh, that looks kind of scary. This blends kind of different than the one that I've been using. I don't know if they changed their formula or what. Let me actually use my sponge a little. To blend that out because it looks kind of scary for some reason this one's blending a bit different than my old bottle anyways as you can tell it's very full coverage and i really like that but it's still really light on the skin which is nice um i think i can make this color work i think it should be fine might have to get darker colors for summer and stuff so now what i've been doing is i've been color correcting because i do have some like darker discoloration and i really just wanted to try color correcting because i was like if it can help me kind of cover those spots a bit more, that'd be great. So I love using this NYX one. I have the darker the darker one and I just use this orange. It's quite dark, but it works pretty well. So I just blend that in with a smaller brush in the areas that I have like discoloration as well as underneath my eyes. I like using it around my mouth a little. 
Sometimes, you know, I have a little mustache. It's a bit darker. I would go back in with the foundation. But I'm only going to use a little bit because this one's like really. I'm just going to add a couple like, just do that. It's like dripping just a little bit. Even underneath my eyes. And I just pat that on top to cover it again. And since this foundation is so light, you can get away with like using multiple layers because it just blends so easily. Even like this is just foundation underneath my eyes. Look how much it's covering. It's literally so good. So I just blend that in. I like doing it this way instead of doing color correction first because sometimes I feel like it just makes my foundation look orange if I blend my foundation while the color correction is on my skin, like it blends into my foundation and then it just ends up looking super orange. So I'd prefer doing it like this. I look insane right now. Let me wipe my brows. I always wipe my brows because I don't want my brows to look ashy. Um, I used to be a brows first kind of girl, but now that I'm more into natural brows, I prefer doing it after. I apply my concealer underneath my eyes. I'm not gonna blend it yet because I want this one to set a little because it just gives better coverage. So I really like the Born This Way. It's a little discolored. I've had this one for a while. It's probably like not even good anymore. But as long as I don't run out, I'm not gonna get a new one yet. So this Too Faced concealer has just been so great. I used to be all for the Tarte Shape Tape, but this one's so much better. I'm just gonna let that sit and I'm gonna do my brows. So I've been loving this, oh, it's dirty, Oh High Brow Jelly. I'm shaking, I'm sorry. I always have shaky hands. I don't really fill in my brows. I just kind of use a tinted brow gel to fill them in just to give them a bit of like color. But I don't really want it to be harsh. Like I want it to look very natural. So I kind of just do this. Um, I'm gonna use a spoolie to brush them out, kind of shape them a bit. I'm gonna go in with the NYX Born to Glow Concealer. And then I'm gonna use the Morphe M224. There you go. The M224 to clean up my brows. I'm just gonna take that underneath. Cause I do put the brow gel on quite messily and I just like kind of carving them out after, but keeping it very natural. So I just use like a, a color that matches my foundation pretty much. And then I just go in with a brush and blend that in. So I'm just gonna do this to the other side. And if I feel like I have any sparse areas, I might go in later and add a little bit more gel or like a little bit of like a pencil. So now I'm gonna go ahead with this hourglass brush. I forgot to clean this one, so it's kind of dirty. But I'm gonna go ahead and blend in the concealer. And I kind of bring this all over my face too. Like I just make sure it's everything's blended together with this brush. I really, really like this brush. And it's small enough to kind of go underneath my eyes as well. So as you can tell, I haven't really been into like natural makeup necessarily, but I do like making my skin look somewhat natural eventually. Like I want it to be very like flawless and airbrushed. And then like I try to make it look more natural by adding like little freckles and little beauty marks. It's like, it's not really noticeable that I'm wearing like full coverage makeup, but I've just been really into it. Like. I'll go through phases where I'll be more into like natural skin and like light but currently I've just really just been loving kind of full coverage. For underneath my eyes, I like using the Anastasia Loose Banana Powder. It's quite a heavy powder I feel like but for underneath my eyes, I just feel like it makes it look very airbrushed. So I first blend out any creases and then I'm going to go in with the powder on this little brush and just tap it on there. And I also like using this on my smile lines to prevent creasing. Even though I still crease there, it does make it less noticeable. And then for the rest of my face, I like using the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm gonna use a wet beauty sponge, just kind of pressing that into my face um, or into my skin and I take it underneath my eyes too to blend the rest of the powder. Um, and I don't mind looking a bit ashy after I apply my powder because I'm gonna go in with like setting spray I'm gonna go in with bronzer. So it's like fine I just want to make sure that my makeup doesn't move because I'll be wearing it like all day Which is why the Too Faced like primer is really nice because it's more like a moisturizing primer and it helps Those areas that aren't oily to like not fully like look dry if that makes sense I think this has been my my go-to bronzer for the past like three years maybe I feel like 
even when I just started YouTube, I was using this stuff. And it's it's a L'Oreal True Match powder. The color is just so nice. It's in the color, I think, W7. It's completely rubbed off. I think it's like golden or something. I take it on this brush from Bare Minerals. I like looking a little bit like a bit too bronzed. I really like that look. I bring it onto my nose, onto my forehead, my chin, and my jaw. And then I bring it down my neck. So bring it onto my nose, it's already part of my contour. But I also like using the Anastasia bronzer in mahogany and just taking any like eyeshadow brush really. Just you don't want it to be too narrow, but you want it to kind of like you still want to be able to shape a little bit. So I just kind of bring that down and then underneath. Oh, that's a bit much. Underneath my nose, kind of there. And then I like creating kind of a tip like that. And I kind of just tap it in there. And then I go back in <laughs> with my bronzer. Just a little bit more. I take the sponge and the Anastasia powder. And I just kind of carve it out a bit. Like so. And then I pretty much brush it away right away. Because it doesn't need to sit for very long. With the same brush I used underneath my eyes. I kind of brush it away. And if I want to, I can add a bit more bronzer. Kind of. Make sure the line isn't too harsh for blush i sometimes like using this one this is from oh hi as well i'm um, in the color sunset and this is a, it's a cream blush i didn't use it today because it kind of depends on my mood i it depends on what color blush i want to wear but that one's really nice it's been more of like a peachy color but i think today i'm going to use my bare minerals um peachy keen peachy too but not as peachy <laughs> and i just use this morphe e4 and just gonna put it on high points not necessarily the apples on my cheeks, just kind of the high points and into my temple a little bit. And then I bring it onto my nose bridge on my chin. I think we're gonna go in with this Anastasia Loose Highlighter in So Hollywood. My highlighters, I don't use the same one every day. It just depends on what I'm feeling like. Just taking a little bit of this and applying it on the high points of my face and then on the top of my nose bridge kind of and then a little bit on the tip. I just like there's bare, nothing pretty much in my in the cap of my or the lid of my highlighter um because i don't want to use too much but this one's really nice because it almost kind of looks like skin when you apply it super lightly i always put a bit on my forehead on my chin i'm gonna use this um juvia's palette it's the warrior 2 i'm gonna go in with quite a fluffy brush and take the color yoda i think this one and bring it into my crease i'm really not that good at eyeshadow um so i keep that quite simple I find it more important that my skin looks good and then for the eyes, I usually just kind of put like a darker brown in the crease and then sometimes I'll add like a little bit of a brown liner which is eyeshadow which I'm gonna do today but I rarely experiment with eyeshadow because I'm just not that good at it. I'm just gonna bring it, the same brush, just kind of fluff it underneath my eyes like doesn't need to be perfect, just bring a bit of shadow underneath there and then I'm gonna go in with the darker shade so this one with a thin liner brush so i take it on there and i first kind of start on the outer part of my eyes and then i just kind of look at where my last lash kind of hits and i try to take it along that line i just kind of connect it but i really i don't make it dark at all like i keep it quite light like that gonna do the same one on this side i'd rather build up color than just go straight in and have it be like super dark i like using the lottie london am to pm eyeliner this is like a brown eyeliner and i just take it i close my eyes and i just bring it on like the outer half of my eyes like that i don't know why i just really like how it makes my eyes look more almond shaped like i feel like it accentuates it more i used to be more of like oh i want my eyes to look bigger but i kind of really like accentuating that almond shape that my eyes have i'm gonna set my face i usually use the professional super setter but i also just got this fix plus because i thought <laughs> the bottle was cute so i'm just gonna use both i'm first gonna use this this has a very light spray you can literally like keep your eyes open when doing this and it just says oh it smells really good probably hella perfume in that shit and i love it's it looks kind of dirty now but i love the nyx brow glue this stuff is so good. It's pretty much like using the, it's like very sticky as well. Like, 
don't know if you can see that it's pretty much like using soap on your brows it's so good um i do use the light hand because i don't want it to mix in with my foundation too much because it creates a cast but i just brush my brows into the shape that i want with this stuff and it stays all day it's even better than the anastasia clear brow gel which that used to be my my holy grail but now it's this one and I like brushing up the front of my brows a bit. The rest kind of goes to the side. But this one's also really nice to use on days that you're not wearing makeup, but you want your brows to just kind of be tamed. You can literally create like the soap brow look with this stuff. It's really good. Something I also like using instead of the Oh High Brow Gel is this um, Benefit Gimme Brow. Because it also gives your face a bit of a, or your brows a bit of a color to it. My makeup is, I do this shit so fast. I'm already almost done. So now I'm gonna do mascara. I start off with the Anastasia Lash Brad and I just pop it onto my lashes. This is one of the best mascaras ever. If you're still looking for one, please try this one out. It's so good. I also always get mascara on my lids and I usually just leave it there because I can't be bothered to constantly remove it. I go on top with the L'Oreal Telescopic Extra Black. This, this thing is annoying though, it's so wiggly. I, always mess it up when i put it back into the bottle but i just kind of put this on top make sure they're still separated make sure they don't get too comfy but this adds a bit of length and it just helps separate them a bit more you see all the mascara on my lids i take it on my bottom lashes period i'm gonna go in with my freck to do my beauty spots and my freckles um i always do one right here and then i I've been doing this one over here and then one right there. Some of them I do have and I just, they get covered up and I just draw them back on. Like these three right here, I naturally have. And I think they look kind of cool. So I like drawing them back on. And then I'll usually do one over here. I'll put one on my nose, maybe like right there. And then I also like just drawing a couple and blending them out. Because I have those naturally, not as many, but I have a couple freckles on the side. And I just think they're fun to drop back on. And it makes your makeup look a bit more like skin because you're seeing, I guess, you know, these like freckles and stuff. Should I add some on my nose? Maybe a couple up here. This is different every day. Like some days I add these, some days I don't. But today I'm feeling like doing it. So I just blend those in. Add another layer. Smaller ones. So there's a couple of lip products I like using. I'm just going to take you through a few of them. So the first one would be this one, which I was wearing earlier. And it would just be a quick like little lip oil gloss, natural. Just looks rosy. I think this is the look I'm going to go for today. But Or I use this NARS No Regrets lip gloss. A bit more full coverage color, I guess. It's still natural. Mm, I also like using my MAC Cork Lip Liner overlining a bit i like doing that because my lips aren't symmetrical adding a little bit of the sephora clean lip mousse in o2 can't pronounce the name very dark but it's just the process and then applying the sephora um, clean glossy lip oil in apricot that's kind of like my nude glossy like lip color that is my makeup routine i feel like it's very easy i i can do this really fast um this is kind of my like my go-to makeup for like shooting like instagram or like filming videos um but i i don't even wear makeup every day like i definitely am not into makeup as much as i used to but whenever i do want to put it on for a shooting or a video this is what i do this is what it looks like from up close i guess um it's very full coverage but it doesn't look cakey or like very thick on the skin i guess like because of the freckles too like that kind of makes it look more skin even though it's definitely not <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and of course subscribe also turn on my post notifications so that you'll be notified every time i upload a video and follow me on my instagram because i post on there every single day or that's on my story or on my feed i'm always active thank you so much for watching i love you guys i'll see you in my next video